Alrighty then. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Matthew Baker of Beautiful New York Tours. Two people, independently of each other, asked me to do a piece on baseball in New York City. And at first I struggled, uh, partly because I just don't know the sport as well as a lot of people do, especially the two gentlemen who requested it, but also I knew I didn't want to talk about the Yankees or the Mets. Nothing against those teams, but just there's already so much material about them, I figured, what could I possibly tell you that you don't already know? And then I thought about Brooklyn. Of all the boroughs of New York City, Brooklyn may be the most significant in baseball history. Baseball's first champion and first dynasty were in Brooklyn. The first team to beat the Red Stockings were in Brooklyn. The first major league game to receive a television broadcast, Brooklyn. The breaking of the color barrier in Major League Baseball, Brooklyn. Sadly, in 1957, the beloved Dodgers left Brooklyn, and that was the end of professional baseball in Brooklyn until 2001. In June 2001, Keyspan Park opened at Coney Island, literally a five-minute walk from the beach and the Atlantic Ocean. The newly minted Brooklyn Cyclones opened a game that they won in the 10th inning and a season that they would finish in first place. However, 9-11 forced them to cut their championship series short, so the Cyclones were named co-champions with the Williamsport Crosscutters. Not until 2019 would a Brooklyn-based team stand alone with a professional championship for the first time since the 1955 Dodgers beat the Yanks in the World Series. The Cyclones got their name from the legendary 1927 wooden roller coaster in neighboring Luna Park, which is plainly visible over left field. Over right field looms the landmark parachute jump, closed since the 1960s, but always a beloved symbol of Coney Island, it was the crown jewel of the now-demolished Steeplechase Park, which once dominated the ground where the ballpark now stands. Now renamed MCU Park, the venue greets its visitors with a bronze statue of Pee Wee Reese with his arm around Jackie Robinson, one of the great moments of baseball folklore. Pee Wee is now the namesake of one of the Cyclones' mascots, the other being Sandy the Seagull, named in honor of Koufax. In addition to the Cyclones, MCU Park has played host to the NYU Violets, uh, the New York Cosmos soccer team, and Rugby United New York, as well as various concerts and entertainment. Among the great things about minor league baseball are the smaller stadiums, the better views, the cheaper tickets, and the more relaxed atmosphere. And if you're an autograph hound, the players and the coaches tend to be more approachable and available than the big stars in the majors. So catch them on their way up. Cyclones alumni include Brian Bannister, uh, Robinson Cano, Ike Davis, Scott Casimir, and Jose Reyes, among many others. A Cyclones game at MCU Park is a great way to end a day at Coney Island. You go out to Coney Island and once you are done with the amusement park rides and the sand and the surf. You finish it off with a game, uh, especially if you have a big group. Make a note of their discount ticket packages. It starts with groups of 15 or more and moves on into the hundreds. So if you have a few school bus loads of young athletes, it's definitely the way to go. Everyone, whether they are fans or not, hopes and prays that there will be baseball in New York again, ideally this summer, hopefully next summer. When it happens, check it out. And please check me out at Beautiful New York Tours. You can search Beautiful New York Tours on Facebook or email me at baker.tours at yahoo.com. Again, that is baker.tours at yahoo. Thank you very much.